the thing or the person toward which we exercise love is also that which we value the most. That's a necessary connection, but one in which we don't often speak all the time. But that which we actively love is clearly that which we value the most. Thank you for watching today's Fruit Growing Guide on Love. We'll explore this concept together from Psalm number 84. It's in Psalm 84 you see this come to the surface as the psalmist talks about how longingly he wants to be in the presence of God. You'll notice verse number 1 opens by him saying that he knows God's dwelling place is lovely. So then verse number 2, he says he desires to be there. He knows it's lovely. It's attractive. It's worth whatever it takes to be there. Thus he wants to be there, and he will be there. And then memorably, it's in verse number 10 that he expresses his desire to be there. Now listen carefully what's happening. We hear this in terms of comparison, but he's also making a sacrifice. He's saying, I would give up any of this in order to be in the presence of God. So this is Psalm 84, verse number 10. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. You see, that's the language of exchange. I would exchange a thousand days anywhere else for one day in the presence of God. See, he values God so highly, he loves God so much that he's willing to make that sacrifice. He's also saying, I would rather be this humble doorkeeper than to be in the midst of those who are wicked. I can have prominence among the wicked, I can have influence among the wicked, I can benefit from the wicked, but I would rather be just this humble on the outskirts of the doors of God's house. See, it's an exchange. It's, it's a, quote, sacrifice. Now, obviously, the, the, the beauty of all this is that although those are exchanges and sacrifices, they're not really sacrifices because loving God is better. And that's his whole point. I would give up all this because I value God most, knowing God is better. Hope that you'll chew on these things from Psalm number 84 and allow the love that he shows for God and God's presence to improve and change your life. I hope you'll keep reading in Psalm 85 too, as it is from the reverse perspective. It's God's steadfast love toward man. What can we learn about our own love by looking at the ever-flowing steadfast love of God? Hey, thank you again for watching. I'm Joey Sparks with the Parish Church of Christ in Parish, Alabama, and we'd love to see you in person soon please let us know how we can best help you to know the Lord.